Conso model 230. This uses a uh, 16 by 257 needle. There's a plate right here to let you know that. That's handy. This is a automatic lubrication machine. So it has a, an oil pan in the bottom. There's the oil pump. Uh, also there's some wicks that uh, soak up oil from the oil pan. Uh, the oil pan, integrated knee lift, and head are included with this deal. This machine has reverse, and it has a uh, stitch length adjustment uh, from 0 to 5 millimeters. This works good. Uh, the uh, uh, tension on this is uh, is rather new. Also, the uh, tension release works very well. Um, so this machine also is uh, is is silky smooth when you uh, when you uh, just turn it by hand. It just it's just real easy, real nice. The uh, well, I'll pull pull it up out of the work. The needle bar is, is uh, rock solid. There's no flex there. Uh, the machine's just just real tight. There's no no play. Um, let's see. One thing I wanted to uh, let you know is that this is all gear driven. There is uh, no timing belt. There's a shaft and uh, helical gears that transfer the uh, movement to the hook and to the pump. I've uh, been inside this machine. It's uh, real clean. Looks better inside than outside and it looks uh, good on the outside. So uh, here you can see that the thread release is easy on that. The bed on this is, is in real good shape. It's just got a few nicks here and there. The most most of the marks on this machine are probably from being in storage in somebody's garage or something. There's a bit of a mar here, and there's a little bit of uh, some dings on the paint up here. But as far as being used up or anything, this machine is not. You can typically tell from the beds how much a machine has been sewn on, and this one just hasn't been sewn on much, so. Uh, there's a lot of life left in this Konso 230. It's made in Japan. I don't know if I said that already. Made in Japan. Uh, a lot of people like that. So this uh, is all uh, well adjusted and, uh, and, and sewing, sewing right in all accounts. So uh, mostly machines like this, you'll, you'll sew garments. Um, you can do upholstery with them if you uh, don't have, uh, if you're not doing it every day and you don't have a lot of uh, really thick stuff. Um, you know, I haven't measured this, but that's about a half inch, so three eighths actual material thickness is, is all the thicker you would want to go. and. You know, if you got something spongy or anything, you're really going to want to go to a walking foot on that. So anyway, this is a straight sewing garment machine. So having said that, uh, I have just some uh, garment weight material. I've also I've got some pretty thick thread in this. I, I don't know what I got in there right now. Probably polyester and it's probably uh, Tech 69 or 70, you choose. So we'll, uh, we'll demonstrate it to sew. Uh, I've got this on a clutch motor right now. And uh, the machine sews really nice. It's got a lot of control. And right now it looks like I've got this set on the, the five millimeter thread. And uh, of course the machine goes as fast as now, this machine is uh, capable of uh, a much higher speed than that, 
uh, if you're looking for a fast sewer um, I'll, I'll put the specs in my listing uh, but I'm sure this one will do uh, uh, well I, I hate to say over 3,000 but uh, usually these machines are pretty fast and um, like I say I'll, I'll make sure I get that right so the reason it doesn't go any faster than it is right now is I have a, a smaller pulley on this clutch motor so bigger pulley will make it go faster but uh, you know what I found is most people like a uh, slower a slower machine so I put these uh, smaller pulleys on the clutch motor so I can get good control It looks like uh, I'm pulling my bottom thread up a little bit, so I'm going to loosen that tension up. See if we can't get the tension set just right for the demonstration. Okay, well, uh, you know, I'm using such thick thread and a big needle. You can really see each color on both sides, so that's about even. That's about as close as we're going to get. Um, you know, when you're sewing a shirt, you're not going to be using Tex 70, but uh, this this machine will take all all sizes of needles. Uh, you know, I don't know, 14, maybe smaller, and up to, oh, I wouldn't think you'd go above 20 or 22. <clears throat> um, but uh, I typically sew on heavier items, so that's kind of the thread I have. So this is making a real nice stitch. They're uh, real even, and uh, the uh, you can see this is this is easy to operate now. A machine like this will also do uh, denim. This is uh, just a scrap, some scrap jeans that I cut out. I've also added a prototype pocket I'm working on, whatever. Uh, so there's one, and then there'll be four here, and there'll be two here, and there'll be three here. There's all all levels, and I'll, I'll fold it up a little bit as we go, but. Um, if you're interested in doing jeans, of course, if I'm sewing jeans, you can be sure it, it does them well, and it does. People usually like a little larger stitch on jeans. In the reverse. double up on it so there'll be as many layers as you would ever do on your machine and, and this will do more basically uh, I'm halfway up to the foot uh, uh, really uh, realistically a, a sewing machine will sew anything you can stick under the foot there comes a matter of efficiency and actually a real world application so you can see, you can do it as slow as you like, and you can do it at high speed as well. Okay, well, live action, we found a misadjustment here. So, we'll see what it looks like. Just on maximum stitch length. This 
is uh, loose right here and was all allowing the uh, feed dogs to slip. So I'll just tighten these up. And we'll be off to the races. Try it without thread, since it's a feeding issue. Sure. Oh yeah, I pull it right out of my hand. So right there, that's really, really more than this machine should do. If you can just barely get it under there, like that, that's too much. But realistically, who's going to sew all of that? So I'm not going to do that. This machine has uh, some nice features when you're threading it that I like. Uh, there's a hook here and then there's a hole at the top of the needle. Some machines will make you thread through there. This one this one does not. You can just hook them in there and that makes for a, a nice uh, easy threading job.